Southwest Florida, again, we're here at the Children's Network of Southwest Florida, and it has been the accommodations of all accommodations. We're thrilled to have here from the Lee County School District, the Assistant Director of Counseling, Lori Brooks. Lori, welcome, welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much. It's been a long time in the works. When we counseling, back when I was a mm -hmm. student, that would be the guidance counselor or no? Back then, it may have been, mm -hmm. because we look about the same age. And when I was in high school, we had guidance counselors. Okay, thanks for the compliment, because I know I'm a lot older than <laughs> mm -hmm. you. I think so. uh, the, uh, what's the difference in the responsibility, say, of a guidance counselor and what we have today? That's a great question, because there has been a lot of shift. Uh, back in the 70s, we saw the introduction of the vocational or guidance counselor into the school system. And their job was mostly to help students to, do, to decide on a vocation and then pursue that vocation. But it was mostly to go right from high school into the workforce. And the role of the guidance counselor has transformed into the role of the professional school counselor. It's now a master's degree required profession. Mm. And so you have to have a master's in counseling and be certified to do counseling and we affect three areas for students we try to facilitate growth for students in the area of academics career and college planning and personal and social development mm -hmm. so do you at any time in that whole process would you ex would you deal with like we're here at the Children's Network of Southwest mm -hmm. Florida for example and they deal with kids in foster homes and adopted kids mm -hmm. uh, do you have a do you, you come across that and you have certain sensitivities towards their background and how you counsel in that regard? Yes, the role of the school counselor is to uh, work with students but also to be a collaborator and a facilitator to network services together for children. So inherent in that is the fact that the school counselor may work with foster students and their foster families and the children's network to support the students at school and also hook them into other community organization so it really is a large collaborative team is there a typical day for a high school counselor or is that a misnomer i think we try our best to have a typical day what would that look like well it would look like intentional activities on the calendar because an effective school counseling program um, is a planned targeted program with activities and uh, lessons for all students and individual planning sessions, small groups, but also we set aside time in our schedule and flexibility for responsive services for kids in crisis, or if we have a situation that occurs where the, the entire school needs a response, such as the death of a teacher or death of a student. How has the state of Florida changed the graduation process for 12th graders and 9th graders and what do parents need to know about that? Well, we had several years where all of the grade levels in high school really had the same graduation requirements. And about five years ago, um, things changed by year that students were in school. And we went through a period of three school years where depending on which grade level you were in, you could be under uh, very different graduation requirements. So that was a bit frustrating for families because if they had a student in ninth grade and 11th grade, their graduation requirements looked different. We are back into alignment thanks to um, adjusted statutes where really all of our students currently enrolled have the same graduation requirement, requirements. Uh, parents can find all of this information on leeschools.net. We have a helpful link on our homepage called Parent Portal and everything that parents need to know is there including graduation requirements by the year their child started grade nine. I'm so glad you provided that information. So we have your website that's been coming up on the screen throughout the interview. So when they go there, they need to go where again? Parents Portal? Parent Portal. And then yes. it start, it's an easy process to walk them through the process. Yes. Why is it important, extremely important, that parents do know that process? As far as graduation requirements, right. I think... Because they could screw some things up if they don't know the details? Yes, um, and the role of the counselor really is to ensure that students get from ninth grade through graduation mm -hmm. without missing a beat. However, a huge part of that team is the parent. So we've got the student, the parent, the school, we all need to be singing from the same sheet of music and that would be the graduation requirements and then also the post-secondary planning that goes into that. Uh, when I was in school, we had a counselor at the school. Mm -hmm. Do, does every school have a counselor or some counselors cover several schools? Every school has at least one counselor and all high schools have three to five counselors on staff. Tell us about the Bright's Future Scholarship. 
The Bright Future Scholarship is an amazing opportunity for Florida students that graduate from high school. Um, it's funded by the Florida Lottery. And if students meet a particular grade point average and then SAT or ACT test scores threshold, uh, they can qualify for certain tuition amounts. There's a three-tiered structure. And so depending on how high their GPA and test scores are, they may get the top tier. And then there's a second and a third tier that uh, funds them for college within the state of Florida. Okay, and people can apply for that they have to go through the state or they can do it right here locally through your website? Well, through uh, their school counselor, actually, we call in all of our students, make sure they're aware of it, and then information, again, is on leeschools.net under the parent portal. Uh, but we actually call in all of our seniors in December of their senior year to ensure that they have completed the five-minute application. Final question. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're sitting around, you and other counselors and people, and you're saying, I wish more people knew this, more mm -hmm. parents knew this, whatever that is, mm -hmm. right now is the opportunity to tell them what is it that you wish they knew, more people knew about as it relates to what you do. I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> the, first, the first thing I would love for parents to know is what the role of the school counselor is, that we're in the schools, we're available to serve their children, not just academically, but socially and emotionally. College and career planning is huge, needs to start in elementary school, and the importance of helping your child Use, this, use the resources we offer, but be a part of that team to help your child discover their passion and connect them to that career path. Lori, it has just been such a thrill to have you on the show. That information has just been invaluable. Keep up the good work, and hopefully we'll get you back in the future, okay? Thank you so much. Let's I bump you out. It. Yes. So at the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Lori and all the fine people at the Lee County School District. When we come back, we'll, we'll talk to the superintendent the Lee County School District. I got a chance to catch him out in the field. Uh, Dr. Atkins, right here on Leapers Live.